welcome to our business beanbag. The product we are offering here at Beanbag is capped at the one offering, a package collection of coffee bean samples from five of Brisbane CBD's most trending cafes. The bag will contain five different sample packages of each cafe's unique roasted coffee bean blends. These cafes include Lee Buen Choi, Bar Pacino, Riverside Centre, Terra Firma and Belezo Expresso Bar. Each coffee blend offers a different authentic taste and the small sample sizes of 40 grams provide enough beans for four shots of high quality coffee for customers enjoy them however they like. The value proposition we offer is the experience of exploration and experimentation of coffee flavours to assist customers in discovering their favourite coffee in Brisbane CBD. This proposition helps solve customers' problems of not knowing which cafe's coffee they like best and equips them with the many tasting options in a way that offers convenience, avoiding the time and money consuming activity of travelling around to cafes, we bring their coffee to you. So we've named our brand Beanbag because it typifies two elements, our physical product as bags of beans and metaphorically our offering of convenience which resonates with our idea of lazing on a beanbag. Our brand slogan, Bean Drinking, captures the essence of our brand in that the rhetorical question not only resonates with the young adult market we are targeting, but also initiates the idea of coffee as a great experience and has so much more to offer than just bean juice. Now here is the prototype of our product, with the outer bag being made from recycled materials containing the logo and the back highlighting the cafe vendors and a key for consumers to navigate through the bag. Inside there are five separate bags made of biodegradable plastic with a number aligning to the package key in their respective cafes. The bags were sourced from Corroy Coffee Roaster, whilst the beans are all sourced directly from each of the coffee vendors. In a world where people's time is a scarcity and coffee is a must to get through the day, many people put up with the taste of okay coffee and never explore themselves nor the different flavours and aromas that come with the delicate indulgence that can otherwise be described by some people as hot bean juice. What Beanbag's hopes to offer is the experience and education of people discovering their own palate as well as why each type of coffee creates the tastes and aromas they do, and where to find coffee shops selling this product, all while providing the convenience and comfort of indulging in your own home with little take-home packs. We at Beanbag's believe that ready-to-drink coffee is consumed primarily to fulfil a utilitarian need, caffeine, and fulfils a secondary market need, only to some, of providing hedonic value by way of enjoyment and indulgence. Due to our market and the nature of being a full-time student, the need to always be engaged and aware is ever-present. Without the use of external stimulants, especially in a modern world where that is the norm, our market of students and workers would constantly find themselves unable to meet the sometimes strenuous standards of university deadlines and assessment criteria. Although it's not a factor in our product sourcing, we also acknowledge that ready-to-drink coffee can contribute or be a part of social status, like in the cases of Starbucks, who are known worldwide for their brand, or Nespresso, who established a brand perception of quality and luxury through Hollywood actor George Clooney. It is a part of our core belief here at Beanbags that, we ex that the experience of self-exploration and taste are paramount to enjoying the right coffee for the right person, and social status ultimately takes the focus away from this core belief. Beanbags only faces one direct competitor when it comes to coffee, more than grounds, who has a primary focus on environmental sustainability with the used coffee grounds. Upon assessing the likely strategy of More Than Grounds, we came to the conclusion that their pricing would be penetration pricing or neutral due to their DIY component of the used coffee grounds conflicting with the known consumer desire for convenience and comfort when it comes to coffee. Our comparable purposes are also vastly different and increases the likelihood that although customers will consume the same product, their target market could be entirely different to ours, focusing instead on environmentalists and DIY enthusiasts whereas ours is passionate coffee drinkers and young students who have yet to discover themselves fully. However, given the small size of the Qtopian marketplace relative to the real world, indirect competitors pose just as much a threat to beanbags depending on the product. We deem our indirect competitors to be more serious because of their main product benefit that falls under the same indulgence and enjoyment category as our own. As such, we assume their pricing and distribution strategy will be very similar to ours. Our segmentation strategy relied heavily on both internal and external market research to identify our market. From the Qtopia census data, we determined the market as being young adults 18 to 23 years old. However, this internal data was not adequate enough to use alone in determining our target market of coffee drinkers. Therefore, we utilised a Facebook poll in the Qtopia Facebook page to reach our audience and to determine our markets from there. 
From this data and key research points of McCrindle Research and Market Line Industry Report, Hot Drinks in Australia, we could then go and segment our audience. We identified four key market segments. These include the coffee connoisseurs that make up 40.9%, the casual coffee drinkers that make up 28%, the do-it-for-the-cafe only drinkers making up 2.3%, and then the non-coffee drinkers that make up 28.8% but could potentially buy our product as a gift for someone else. In order to justify the selection of our target market, we scored our four potential segments based on five criteria and concluded that coffee connoisseurs was the best option. Part of our method in achieving our goals and objectives is our branding and how we market ourselves to the Qtopian marketplace. I describe our brand personally as an explorer, which is very spot on in getting our customers to explore themselves and with comfort. A large part of our product is actually the experience that comes with it. We knew from the start that this would set us apart from any competitors and that we had a lot to offer by shifting towards the intangibles when it comes to coffee, rather than the coffee itself. At Beanbag, we've understood the critical factors in distribution, including market changes, middlemen, perishable quality of our product, and the current government regulations. When considering these factors, the distribution of our products will be centered around efficient simplification of ordering, packaging, and of course, the distribution process. In keeping with our goal of simplicity, to purchase a Beanbag, simply fill out our interest form and provide an email and a delivery address. We will then send you the payment details with an attached arrival date. We've also recognised coffee beans cannot be kept in storage, hence there will need to be frequent orders made to the wholesalers. Therefore, to counter the waste and short delivery time for the customer, we will be implementing data tracking and analytics to forecast demand and have an appropriate supply ready and available. In an effort to shorten the supply chain, we'll be monitoring demand and purchasing the beans directly from the wholesaler, who will then send the stock and packaging to be distributed. Due to the health and safety regulations involved in handling these perishable products, all packaging and distribution will run through the Brisbane-based company, Quarry Coffee Roasters. This was a strategic choice due to its lo locality and our team's prior business relationship using their services. In order to minimize our setup expense, we've chosen to purchase a simple Facebook business page without pinned advertising. An issue we may face is awareness and post interaction shortages. Now, in order to counter this problem, we will focus on building strong and effective experiential advertisements, which is in keeping with our product's experience-based value proposition. Now, the third parties involved in logistical management include Quarry Coffee Roasters, Victoria Coffee, Elixir Coffee Roasters, a specialty roast by Levon Chooks, All Press Coffee, and of course, any coffee roaster we may implement in the future. Aligning with our mission statement, our customer experience strategy focuses on convenience and opportunism. Through different touch points, we provide a range of opportunities for relationships with our customers to be formed. For example, the chat box feature will be available on Facebook as a customer helpline and a complaints management service. The response time to customer inquiries and complaints is a key concern in our strategy. When consumers reach out to our business, they should always receive a timely response. Thus, we will manage the Facebook chat daily to ensure customer convenience. Additionally, a frequently asked questions post will be pinned at the top of Beanbag's Facebook page so customers can easily access information they may be after, which further contributes to this convenience. The Beanbag order form will have the option for customers to add their email so they can receive a tracking code. For those who don't enter their emails, they will still receive an order confirmation message sent to their phone number. As part of the customer experience, we strategically chose to make this an option to provide convenience to those who don't want to share their information and incentives for those who do. For those who do enter their emails, we will also send a follow-up email asking for their feedback on our customer service in the form of a five-star rating and a comment box where they can add any notes. All emails will be customised and include the customer's name and a personalised message about the order. 
This personalization sparks the possibility for relationships to form with customers, addressing, addressing emotional aspects of customer experience. On the other hand, the sensorial component of customer experience, whose aim is to provide good sensorial experiences, is addressed through the smells of our coffee in our packaging. We will communicate our value through Facebook by posting engaging quality content that attracts users' attention and keeps them informed. Through sharing a range of actionable photos and videos, customers will begin to get a sense of the brand, boosting brand familiarity as well as customer experience. To ensure compliance, our business has obtained a Qtopia business license. This license ensures our business will comply with not only the rules of QT and Qtopia, but relative Australian health and safety laws. Furthermore, previously stated methods of communication, such as chat boxes, will allow for communication between our staff and consumers to solve issues such as returns and complaints. This will guarantee compliance with Australian consumer law. In terms of ethics, our beanbag product will be created using recycled materials and biodegradable plastic. In addition, our advertisements and online promotions will strive to be truthful, honest and legal, in accordance with the Australian Association of National Advertisers Code of Ethics. Finally, there is a distinct level of respect for one another at Beanbag that fosters a safe and ethical culture. Lastly, in order to guarantee effective project management, a scope statement will be created to ensure measurable, clear and time-bound objectives. Moreover, a group chat has been created involving each team member with a direct line of communication, open 24-7 for effective communication. Finally, there is a probability that unforeseen circumstances and issues can arise on the market day. Therefore, a risk register will be created. This register will list potential risks to a successful market day, grade said risks based on probability of occurrence and impact of occurrence, then each risk will have a response plan should these risks take place. On a fundamental level, our product seeks to solve a consumer problem, namely decide which Brisbane cafe they most prefer. Beanbag offers a solution to this problem and combined with an emphasis on convenience and affordability, our product will suit our young adult demographic perfectly. Whether our product is satisfying a coffee connoisseur's delicate desires or providing a casual coffee drinker with a new flavour right around the corner, we are confident Beanbag will create immense value. This conference is supported by primary and secondary research, detailing the high number of potential buyers and the distinct lack of competition. Therefore, through our effective market segmentation and subsequent positioning and targeting, we are confident our product will be a success. Firstly, IT issues are a main concern with the market day being online. Issues with our customer chat boxes or other forms of communication may be harmful to our business's reputation. Additionally, human error may lead to issues on the day. There is also a risk that our product does not do well on the day. However, through our meticulous preparation and analysis, we are confident that this will not occur. Lastly, through the use of a risk register and subsequent response plans, even if these risks do occur, they will be dealt with accordingly and effectively.